So um, this, this lecture is called Behind the Steering Wheel, and it's about your charm rule. I really want to say quite a bit about the Ascendant to set that up and then talk about what the ruler, the Ascendant, the chart ruler um, says as well, uh, to look at a few examples I've got, but also to look at uh, any examples you might want to share yourself um, or just have us all take a look at. So it's um, as flexible as that, hopefully. So the blurb said, your Ascendant is a vehicle that showcases a general attitude or outlook on life, one that you adopt in many ways to negotiate and to interact with the world around you. I think of the, uh, the Ascendant and its ruler in many ways is about your open agenda. And we might even open agendas for Scorpio risings. They do have open agendas occasionally. Um, the, um, the Ascendant's your open agenda and it's your personality. That's what we um, often see it uh, described as. Um, in some of my work, uh, in some of my books, I've spoken about the sun being your core character, an accumulation of traits and experiences um, that make that form who you who you are really, and what you've become, and what you're in the process of becoming. That's the sun. The moon is more about your day-to-day -day behavior, your responses, your reactions to life, and the ascendant more about persona, about personality, and we'll be looking at what that means in a moment. So I actually divide those three, sun, moon, ascendant, the so-called big three, um, into the sun, your character, the moon, your behavior, the ascendant, your personality. Even though probably every day we all use those words interchangeably. Okay, so it's your open agenda and it's, um, Oh, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll come to this in a moment, but it's um, it can be quite different from other parts of the chart. Um, each ascendant has a ruler, of course, so every rising sign has 12 possible sign placements. So you might have 12 people in a room um, with um, Leo rising and the ascendant ruler, the sun, could be in any one of the 12 signs. So we have already have 12 ascendants and potentially 12 um, ascendant ruler positions to 144. The chart ruler reveals the motivation or the hidden directive behind the ascendant, that general open uh, negotiation tool, that interaction. That's what we're going to be looking at today. It's you in many ways, the chart rule, of course, the whole chart is you, um, or a little bit of you. I always think we're actually bigger and greater than our birth charts. Um, but um, the Ascendant Ruler is really you as the driver of this vehicle that we know as the Ascendant. And it's also the route you plan to take or you wish to take in your life. If you've got short, uh, stories to share, stories to share, um, the, my email is down there, info at Flare UK. If you're very welcome to email me um, and uh, etc. I know you probably get a copy of this anyway, and uh, uh, but you, normally I give out copies of things. Let's take a look. Now I think of the angles. I want to start looking at the ascendant first of all, but we know that the ascendant is one of the great four angles, the great four points of the compass. So it's very much your particular orientation to life, these four. And you could link each one of the four angles to a particular element. So the ascendant being linked obviously to the, to the first house and to originally to Mars and Aries, we can think about the ascendant have a fiery um, has a fiery quality to it. The descendant being linked to Libra um, and the seventh house, um, although in some house systems it doesn't obviously begin the seventh house cusp. The descendant um, we could think of it as air. The imum cheli, the IC, is water, and the medium cheli, the MC, the midheaven, is the earth angle. So if you want to try to remember what each of the angles mean, you can think of them in terms of, of element. Um, the ascendant, of course, being the fiery impulse, what motivates me as I walk out my front door, we'll be looking at that image um, in a moment, um, and the descendant very much about um, my relationship with myself and other people and what I attract into the world, what I project onto other people, what I'm um, ideally 
ideally looking for in that airy um, seventh house Libra sort of way. The IC is the water angle linked very strongly to the tap root where we've come from. Um, the memories, the accumulative uh, experiences, um, what was important to the parents early on. And then the um, midheaven, the MC, being the earth angle linked, of course, to the 10th house, Saturn, Capricorn in general, astro speak, of course. Um, it's very much where we may materialize or, or create something of substance for the world or where we may leave our mark or something of lasting impact. So we could think of that as the earth angle. So I call the four angles the windows of your world and there are different ways that we see out and also other people see in to us. So they're, they're very much two-way windows of the world. Okay. So the ascendant, here are some key words. It really is um, uh, the motivation. The ascendant and the ascendant ruler, uh, we're talking about a sign, and of course, we're talking about the ascendant complex. The ascendant sign, the ascendant ruler, and of course, um, any planets that are around the ascendant. Now, you may be a tight orb sort of person, which sounds a bit a bit painful, but um, uh, you might only go for five degrees of planets around the ascendant, or you might go uh, stretch up to 10, 12, 15 degrees. Um, very much up to you. I tend to use about eight degrees. If I'm feeling a little bit generous, um, I might go to 10. Anyway, so um, the ascendant um, is really the moment of us appearing on the horizon as we're being born. So it has a link, of course, to our physicality, our appearance, and also our expectations of what the world will appear to be like um, as we walk out our front door. And it's very much about how we interpret that experience, the ascendant, how we engage with the life face to face. I think of the ascendant as your meet and greet personality. It's the, um, uh, the clothes that we wear, the particular traits we employ in order to negotiate with the world. So think of your ascendant, if you've not thought of it like that before, or you've got a different take on it, think of it um, in terms of the sign on the ascendant, first of all, planets around there, but just think of the element. Um, is your ascendant fire, earth, air, or water? Is your ascendant cardinal, fixed, or mutable? How are you using that particular sign, its element and mode, to meet the world, to experience, to engage, um, and um, uh, the ascendant can be very much about the choices that you make um, based upon your expectations, your experience of walking out that front door and engaging with people every day.